Hi there, this is Amy coming back for part two of the painting of the stemless champagne glass. Last night I attempted to do a painting on here by wrapping rubber bands around it and as you can see my glass is clearly not painted anymore. Reason being when I started to take off the rubber bands unfortunately the painted had adhered to the rubber bands which is what I was afraid of and pulled a lot of the paint off so that really wasn't what I was looking for it was not as easy as what I've seen demonstrated uh, the, I guess the problem that I have with it is how do you get the rubber bands off while the paint's wet in order to prevent that from happening so I'm going to have to take a look into that and maybe research a little bit more and see if there's another way to do it uh, maybe cut the rubber bands off or something but I still think that that's going to cause the paint to be marked by the attempt of removing the rubber bands and if you're going to try to cut them off. Probably better to do painter's tape, gloss painting tape, if you want to make a design like that. So tonight I'm just going to show you something else that we can do with this. Sorry that that didn't work out to me. That's kind of a busted, a busted uh, tutorial. Not as easy to do as what they make it look. And that's kind of one of my my reasons for trying to do some of them is to see if if they truly are. Now what I'm going to do tonight is just to go around and just do some random polka dots on the glass and using my pouncing tool just kind of just going around the glass. You can go back over them if you want as far as if you feel like the lines for the actual um, dot are not as good as what you want them to be. This one's getting to be a little too much paint. And I'm sure with the glass being so round that's probably not the easiest design to be painting on here right now. You know really with glass painting it's just all about making a fun glass to drink from. Maybe a fun gift doesn't have to be detailed and trust me I mean I've, I've done a lot more detailed work than what I'm showing you. These are these are not meant to be real in-depth patterns obviously. It's just something for most people to be able to do. And these pouncers come in I believe it's five or six different sizes in a pack and this is kind of a medium medium one that I'm using make bigger polka dots and it's still I'm still using the frost color found that it did, was didn't dry as clearly as I thought it might more of a frosty look it's actually was wider than I expected I really have kind of a steered away from this paint or this particular um, frost white just for the reason I thought it wouldn't be it wouldn't show up enough but of course when I'm trying to do something like what I was doing last night it showed up really well. Like I said if you feel like your dots are not completely circular you can go back over and touch them up. This tool is pretty easy to place back in but honestly I think just by looking at this glass I pretty much have what I want on here. So I'm going to leave it at that. Sometimes I can kind of do overkill. And just to dress it up a little bit more, I'm, excuse me, I'm going to go back in and just put some random dots around it. So even if you don't have nice crisp edges, you can do this. And I'm just using metallic silver folk art enamel paint. It's my favorite. And just doing little dots with the end of a paintbrush. There are you know, other tools that you can use to make dots. And the dots, I'm not intending for them to be all the same size either. I like variety. If you haven't been able to tell that in my painting, then you haven't watched enough of my videos.
I'm trying to keep from sticking my fingers into the other circles that I've painted on here. Can be kind of good about doing that. Yeah, I just you know thought of doing something. I wanted to come up with something on this glass since the initial design that I was trying to do did not work out. I guess that I might experiment a little bit more with that and see if, excuse me, if there's a better way way to do it. Because I know just from painting experience it's best to get the tape when you're taping off as soon as possible. And I'm sure that's the reason. The paint doesn't dry to it and then when you're pulling the tape off it pulls the paint off or whatever it is you just painted. And that's not, that's not fun. Definitely not fun by any means. All right. So again, just something really simple, easy. Even, like I said, once it dries, if you want to add more designs onto it, like some swirls or something of that sort, maybe even go back in and add something to the middle of the dots. But I'm just going to leave it like this just for the purpose of this video. Again, it's just intended to be something simple to replace what I was trying to do so that I had some kind of a finish to the video. Sorry again that it didn't work out and when I decide to try it again, if I do, I will make another video. There you go. Again, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a good evening.